I thought I would take the time to make a video real quick now that I am actually alone. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've been pretty much battling depression since like September. I'm used to dealing with depression because I do have bipolar disorder, but it's never been like this bad to where I feel like I'm drowning, like mild to severe depression. It's very frustrating. And the weird thing was I saw my psychiatrist last month in November, but for some reason I couldn't articulate what the problem was. So I kind of wasted his time, but I think he sensed that I think he sensed there was something that I wanted to talk to about, uh, talk to him about. So he said, okay, I'm going to, I want to see you next month. So I do get to see him in less than a week. So hopefully this time I will explain to him what the problem is. Now, I've been on the same dosage of medication and sometimes everyone's different. It might be possible that it might be time for me to up the dosage, but it might not be that and I might just have to make some personal changes you know it's not always a medication issue even though I do have bipolar disorder and it, and yes I'm treated with medication that doesn't mean that I have to up it but at the same time considering that I'm talking about such a long length of depression it is something that has to be uh, addressed any person who is depressed for that long needs to seek attention. Okay, three months is a very long time, even for someone who has, even for someone who has clinical depression or chronic depression, that's still a long time straight. So I am going to talk to him. That's one of the reasons why I haven't really been like vlogging normally because it's just, it's some days it's just literally the things that you don't think about, like, getting out of bed and getting in the shower and getting dressed those things that you don't think about it, it takes tremendous effort for me when I'm suffering from de depression it it sucks and obviously I'm feeling a little bit better now but I'm pushing myself and I'm also running on little sleep because I also have chronic insomnia and you might be wondering why I'm wearing gloves and that's actually one of the, what I wanted to talk about because I realized that I had this one issue that I have never talked to anybody about. I think maybe three or four people in my life know about it. And it's only because it's come up in conversation. And as a matter of fact, I don't think my own mother knows about this. And I like, and it's because I just never had reason to talk about it. For as long as I can remember, I've had some sort of sensory processing issue. With me, it's touch. And I've been like this all my life, but I didn't know it was abnormal. I just, I just, it never occurred to me to talk about it. Most of my problems come from cardboard and a lot of different types of fabric material my nails cannot touch anything my nothing no nothing except for me be like hard plastic my nails cannot run across anything but i cannot touch corduroy um suede or faux suede or certain types of pleather like it Basically, it feels like I have a, a hives on my brain, It, but I've always been like this. Oh, and also like that canvas material, like canvas sneakers, I can't touch. I have to, I have to like, you'll see me grab things. Like if I'm grabbing stuff, you'll see me grab it like this. You know, I can't like, you know, it's very, it's weird. Anyway, um, if I see you, like let's say you, let's say this was canvas or like corduroy and I see you like drying your nails across it, it immediately it's like I'm touching it and you'll see me go like I'll do like Derek sees me do these things I'll go or like and it, it I, I don't do it on purpose it's like this automatic reaction I had this horrible toothache yesterday to the point where like I couldn't drink anything cold couldn't drink anything hot air going through it and I don't know what it was but the pain was so bad that it basically caused a sensory overload to the point where I could not touch anything that wasn't like hard plastic or, you know, like ceramic or something. Everything I touched, like I was looking for this book. I had checked it out from the library. Good book, by the way. My parent, my, one of my, my, my mom and my dad got me for this when I was a kid. And, but anyway, I was looking for it and I, Every time I touched the cardboard box, I was like in tears and it kept like rubbing up against my arm. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because I could not touch anything. So finally, I got so desperate that I was like, Derek, where are the gloves? 
Where are the gloves, Derek? And he said, don't look for him. You might touch something and freak out. And I, I don't know why, I don't know what it is about my tooth <laughs> that would cause this, but I haven't been able to touch anything. And even this morning, I was trying to read a book. I couldn't even touch the pages. And, and while the processing issues, the sensory processing issue has always been part of my life, I've never before not been able to touch pages of a book. I read all the time. I don't... So that's what the gloves are for because I've been cleaning up around the room and I, it's stupid, but I've always been that way and I don't know why. Just, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you when it started because it's literally been since my childhood, as long as I can remember. But I just wanted to tell that little story about how I'm walking around the house with gloves on because I can't touch anything.